where I'll start and we'll greet each other. Good morning. Morning. Nice to see you. Okay, so thanks for tuning in. The first thing we do is just try to relax a little bit. And I'm going to mute you. Debbie, <laughs> just going to put your mic off because I don't need to hear you. There you go. Debbie, you okay? Do you have a question? You had your hand up on the Zoom. No, you're okay? Um, you're actually muted now, so you're just talking to your TV. <laughs> there you go. No, I just hit the hands up instead of the thumbs up. I'm sorry. Good morning. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Nice to have you along. Okay. So I'm going to turn your mic off for now and probably forever, but um, welcome. Okay. So here we are. Let's, uh, let's start our Friday uh, really nice. Okay. So just relax and uh, take a nice breath really deep breath. You can breathe in your open mouth if you like, but I want you to blow it out your mouth when you're ready. Like there's a big candle, but it's far away. You're going to blow it out with a little bit of force. So we breathe in and then blow it out. Okay. Until you're done. Okay. Do the same thing now in the nose and we're going to push the air gently out the nose. Okay. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, now we're going to relax now because now we don't need to make forceful breathing. We don't need to make sound when we breathe. It should be very gentle and relaxed. So just take a moment and soften your breath. We've gotten rid of the stale air from the lungs and we've woken up the lungs just a little bit. And um, yeah, we're going to have more oxygen coming into the body now. So now as you breathe, Feel, relax, whatever that word or that feeling is, try to assimilate it in your whole body. Breathing in, relax, no rush. And as you breathe out, try to release a little bit more tension wherever you feel, just become comfortable. And we'll continue that, that feeling of relaxation as we breathe in, and as we breathe out each time. And we can just gently align our posture as we need to from our feet through our knees. You can make small adjustments as you need to so that you find a comfortable alignment where your body can work a little bit less by just standing there. Yeah. And so all the way up to the top of your head, let your shoulders Relax, and now take another gentle breath. No rush. Breathe out. Relax more. So far, so good. Okay, so now let's stretch from our feet, from our tailbone, stretching down into the earth, but also our spine, every part all the way to the top of our head, elongating and growing just a little bit taller as we breathe out. So we need to do this gently. It's not with muscles, but by becoming a little bit lighter. Ha uh ha. -huh. Good. And so we'll take a breath in. And one more time, we'll push the fingers down. Let the shoulders drop. Bye. Good luck. Drive safe or whatever. Yeah, that was Helen. Unfortunately, you're stuck with me today. She's got it. Just, well, at least you got 49% today with me. So let's stretch one more time. And now relax here. I'm kidding mostly. She's awesome, but she'll be with us another time. So from here, we'll stretch forward with the chin. And relax. Breathing out as we stretch forward again, breathing out. Yeah, just let your head be as light as you can imagine it so that you can take lots of pressure off all those small things, small muscles in the neck region. Okay, so small circles, just like this. Really, really easy. And as we make this circle, we're just trying to make the movement as smooth and effortless as we can in every direction. 
Good job. And now when you're ready, we'll switch directions. Exactly the same thing. We'll check in with our breathing. It's still relaxed. And we'll notice now that it's just a tiny bit deeper than when we started. Our belly can relax and expand gently in every direction as you breathe in. And when you relax, breathe out. Just let it go. Okay. So, head and neck, yeah. Okay, so from here, from your neutral position, we'll take the shoulders up and back. Yes. You'll feel the chest opening, breathing out as you do so. Relax. Take your time. You'll feel some stress and some tension melt away. So don't rush. Breathe in one more time. Open, breathe out. Let them drop all the way back down. Good job. Okay, and now you're free. Looser, you can roll side to side. You can roll both sides smoothly. We can bring the arms all the way up. We can open them as wide as we can and let the shoulders drop, 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 drop back down even lower. We can circle open again. We can lean back a tiny bit to stretch the belly, breathing out. Good. Come back up. Let's go the other way. We'll roll the shoulders forward here. Relax your whole back. Straighten up again. Bring your arms overhead. When they get overhead, lift your shoulders, lift your fingers, stretch to your toes. You feel your whole body connect and then release, relax, breathe out. Yep. Okay. Let's try again. Open full. Stretch to your fingertips. Breathe out. We'll open again. This time we're going to lean back a tiny bit, stretching to the fingertips, but also your torso, your belly. Good. And relax the other way. Roll forward. Relax your shoulder blades. There. Okay. And now, if you wish, you can swing smoothly. We'll change every, direct, uh, every two circles, we'll change direction. That's it, so easy, keep going, just like that. Take your time, that's good. There we go, that's it. Good. So this is good. You can let your arms rest again for a second. So yeah, it's a bit very basic. You know, we, we, when we practice uh, Qigong, for example, or, or, or martial arts, we learn about the center line, the imaginary line that runs right down your middle. And then we talk about circular movements, for example. We have outside circles, we have inside circles. So here now you can learn this too if you don't know this already. So anything that is moving up and away from your center is an outside circle. Yeah. And so we can do outside circles just like this. We can do outside circles with our wrists moving up and away from our center. We can do outside circles with any moving part of our body. Okay. What about inside circles? Well, that is anything that's coming up and towards your center. And so we can do inside circles with the arms. So when we do this, we want to make sure we're not just moving our elbows. We want to move everything here. So the whole body needs to work together. And then you realize that it's not just your elbows. It's certainly not just your shoulders. You can feel your whole, your torso moving. You can feel your ribs rising and falling. Yeah. Okay. Good.
and relax yeah so now we can do elbows from here we start with what kind of circles are these moving up and away from your center you got it outside circles and now inside okay relax we'll try that again we're waking up still stretch and connect through we'll do outside circles and now instead of just paying attention to the circle which is really good but we also need to relax the shoulders because they feel tight so from here try to let your shoulders drop a little bit and try to maintain that releasing your shoulders while you move your elbows freely take a breath in you'll feel some tension there okay relax back down to nothing again okay wrists easy movement inside easy movement shaking side to side Breathe in gently. Squeeze your muscles tight and exhale like you're stretching apart something here. Good. Relax again. And breathe in slowly. Squeeze tight and stretch, stretch, stretch. Relax again one more time. Shaking as you breathe in. Breathing out as you squeeze and pull apart. Good. Now you can rub your hands, relax. Take a breath and relax. Any unnecessary tension that has found its way to you. Rub your back. Create a little bit of warmth there. Good job. All right. Okay, so now we push in to support. We stretch through the belly, breathing out gently. Take your time. Ah, okay, so now from straight, we start to turn and relax. So make your circle as smooth and as round as you can. That's it. Change direction. Check your breathing is really nice and deep, all the way down to your belly. How many circles can you do as you breathe in? And how many circles can you do as you breathe out? Relax more. Come back, breathing in, stretching again, breathing out relax and then we'll try again breathing slowly and gently start to make your circle a little bit bigger good job make your circle as large as you comfortably can and you feel your stretching at every point of the circle Change direction, exactly the same, the opposite way. You notice that your lower back is wanting to relax more. So let it. Yes, okay. Check the breathing, nice and relaxed as you breathe in. Relax more as you breathe out. And coming back slowly to neutral position. So your circles are getting smaller, but still smooth and comfortable. Okay, so take another breath. Relax, stretch one more time. 
and relax your shoulders again. Uh, it feels better. Okay, so now we're going to warm up the knees. So, rub. Let's try to create a little bit of warmth uh, all around the knee joint. Yep, good job. Very good. Bring your feet close together, hands on your knees. Relaxed breathing. We're just going to move up and down very gently. And you don't need you don't need to go very deep. We just want to move the knees together. Same way, same time. Rub again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, something like that. Uh, slow down again. We make circles. And the other way. There we go. Good. Rub once again. Breathe in, breathe out. Isn't this easy? So easy, okay, right? Now we're getting some results with something really, really simple. Hands on knees again, but now your feet are in shoulders with, okay, and we bend again very lightly. Both sides moving exactly as close to the same as you can make. Let's bend the knees, and when you look down, you can't see your toes. That's enough. Hands are still here for support. And we're just going to breathe here for a moment. And you'll start to feel your muscles in your legs working a little harder. Relax. Okay. Before we move the knees, we're going to relieve some tension by massaging. And then we can move again. Three or four times is good. Let's try now. Outside circles. Searching for smoothness in every part of the movement. And while you're doing this with your hands on your knees, you notice how you're stretching your lower back a little bit. Okay, after inside circles, we'll rub the knees once more, just like that. Okay, and if you care to rub the lower part of your legs, you can certainly do that. And then when you're done, you can stand back up. So with the first part of our joint warm up, we start with all the moving parts, head and cervical spine, right? Uh, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers, waist, knees, and now finishing with the foot and the ankle. So we're going to stretch the foot here, just relax the bottom, relax the arch. Okay, and now we're going to turn. Gently, but see if you can make a large enough circle that you're stretching at every point in your circle. Yeah. Good, relax, change direction. Okay, we'll try the other side. Relax and stretch. And we can turn. Yeah, good job. So we're relieving unnecessary tension in the body. 
and we're combining it with really simple but effective breathing, which is really essential. We can't have just the physical movement and expect a significant result. You need to combine actually three things. The right breath matched with your body movement. That's easy. We've, we've been doing that since the beginning today. Okay. The right movement to release the tension, but also the right state of mind. So when you practice, whether you're practicing yoga or stretching or tai chi or whatever you happen to be into, or music in the morning, you need to relax yourself and, and try to be here together right now and just give yourself permission not to be worried or anxious about things that haven't happened yet and not to be drawn back too far into the past about things that have already occurred and they're still sitting with you for some reason. Okay, so here, just center yourself again. And so one of the ways that we can do that, we don't try to force anything. We don't force the breath. We don't try to force the mind or the emotion. Or, and we certainly don't try to force the body. So we allow some space to release and to relax. So we align, relax more. We take a breath down to the belly, opening up the lungs, making sure that there's more oxygen coming in. And then when we breathe out, we not only release the breath, we sense where there's tension in the body and we imagine it gently, slowly melting away. It's not difficult. And with a little bit of practice, we get better and better at it, right? Okay, so now let's do a couple more stretches that I think they will be really good for you. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's, let's do this here. Let's interlock our fingers together. And we're gonna stretch all the way up to the sky. And relax. Down. Take your time and if you need to breathe again, do so. We stretch forward as low as you comfortably care to. Relax your breath. You can open your hands here and you can stand up, recalibrate. Let's try again. We'll interlock and we'll breathe all the way through to the top as we breathe in, in, in. Stretch and lift, relax. And now we're gonna breathe out all the way until we reach the bottom. Okay, take your time. We can open the hands and stand up and we can repeat just like this, so simple. Breathing all the way to the top, relaxing, breathing out all the way to the bottom. Out and stretching. Breathing in all the way to the top. Little lift there and relax. Good. Let's try the same stretch, but without interlocking the fingers. Let's separate here and we'll bring them up just like this. Turn to face the sky and stretch. Good. And relax your shoulders all the way down. Relax your shoulders, relax your chest, make some room to bend forward, relax your back and your legs and your feet. Good. Breathe in one more time, all the way up and relax, breathing all the way down. And now we can stand up and take a breath or two just to recenter yourself here in your original position. Good. Okay, next one is really nice feeling too. Uh, so yeah, you felt that, right? As soon as you come back, you can feel your circulation is awake. 
And then we have fresh oxygen and blood supply reaching really important parts of the body that might not have been getting them as much uh, before. Okay, so let's try this. Let's take one hand and we'll push it all the way up to the sky. And then what we're looking for here is a couple of things. I'm going to feel a stretch way up there at your wrist. So pull your fingers back. You want to feel a stretch through the arm into your shoulder. So extend more if you need to. And then connect that stretch from your arm down through your side to your waist. So you need to imagine this part reaching up, connecting through your arm. Good. And at the same time, this side is reaching down connecting to your foot. Good. And if you need at any time just to relax the position, you can do that. So now instead of just stretching your wrist or your arm, we are able to sense the connection. You just need to align, relax, and connect the whole side of the body. This hand can wait here out of the way because as we take a breath here we're going to stretch away stretch sideways the whole body now good job relax you can let that arm drop if you're familiar with changing change otherwise we're going to reset the other side stretch through connect the whole body even before we stretch to the side from your foot to your fingers. Take a breath and very gently exhale, exhale. Stretch as far as you comfortably can. Switch positions again. We can change like this. Align and connect. Release, breathing out. Breathing in, we change, and before we stretch, we connect, there it is, and release one more time. Yes, good job. Okay, come back and relax. Now you feel open on the sides, more comfortable. Good job. Okay, so now let's just loosen the hips. Okay, just lift high knees. You can put your hand there. You can touch. You get a little pat, make a little sound. Okay, no problem. Very gently, just patting your knee. Okay, it gives you something to reach for. <laughs> you can go lower, of course. Uh, you can go higher. Work where you need to work. Relax. Breathing in and out. Oh, hips feel a little bit better. Or not. You know how to make sure we try it again. So let's go. One, two, three, four. Raise your knees as high as you can for you. That's about 10, about there. Let's open, circle, take your time, open. So open is the outside circle, right? There you go. Good, now, is there something we can do with our hands while we do this? Yeah, we can do this. You can put your hand there as a target and you can try to reach your knee through that. That's a good place to start. Where you put your hand, <laughs> where your knee wants to go. Okay, we here, put here, and so on. Let's try inside, like this. Oh, okay. 
If you have tightness in your hips, in your glutes, in your butt, <laughs> this other direction will help. <laughs> okay, relax more. Relax. And each time you meet the hand, breathe out. Good job. Okay. Relax side to side. Good. Okay. Okay. From here, we'll start easy. Lift the heels. Lift the heels. Both sides up. And then relax. Just very gently. Breathe where you need to breathe. Good. Relax, move your feet around, become comfortable. Now we're going to lift and hold. We're going to lift and hold. One, two, three. Relax. Start again. Lift and hold. One, two, three. Relax. Yes. Try again. Lift and hold. One, two, three. Good job. One more time, lifting and holding. Good. Relax your feet again. Okay, this next one is tricky. So we'll start small. Okay. First, can you alternate left and right feet by just lifting the toes of one foot, lifting the toes of the other foot, and you feel a stretching down there a little bit. Lift them up until you feel your calf is starting to stretch just a bit. Yep, we can do one at a time like this. Okay. Okay, now comes the hard part. So you graduated to the master's level now. <laughs> okay, your diploma will be coming by mail. But until then, masters of foot raising, you can raise both feet, relax. We're not gonna hold both feet, relax. When you do this, don't tell your body that you need to achieve this by falling backwards. That's, that would be wrong, okay, just so you know. Am I supposed to fall down to the ground each time? Uh, no, 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 please no. So, just the toes, yep. Okay, here's a little trick that you can try. I can't say it with a straight face, but you try it. I bet you it will work. We stand there. When you want to raise your toes, just for now, not forever, okay? Because just for now, you can try this. Watch this. Raise your eyebrows. <laughs> try that. And I dare you to keep a straight face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. You know what? Well done. Just stop rocking now. That's good. You did a good job. That look of surprise is the actual instant look of surprise that you'll have on your face if you don't control your balance and you're about to fall backwards. Okay? You'd be like, oh, crap. Right. So, kidding aside, I want you to have good balance. So, these exercises, we practice them systematically, safely, and your balance will improve. Case in point, sink your knees, both sides. This feels really easy now compared to what you just practiced, right? Okay, no problem. Stand up completely, relax. And now I want you to feel only one side. Feel only one side, concentrate only on one foot. Center your gravity over the center of only one foot. The other foot will naturally become lighter Yep. Continue to sink your weight onto one foot and let the other foot become even buoyant. It wants to float. If it should leave the ground, let it. Okay. Everything onto one side. Relax. Sink to the other side. Okay. Whether you do this exercise with a bent leg or a straight leg, is entirely up to you. 
whatever feels strongest or most confident. Okay, you can push. Yeah, actually, that's a good, good image. When you shift your weight to that one side, over the center of your foot, aligned with the center of your head, and the other foot is becoming lighter, lighter, lighter. Okay, feel the center. Okay, and just as you make that transition where you fully release the other foot, imagine this foot pushing, pushing against the earth, and your head extending opposite. Okay, and breathe out, relax, breathe out. Try again the other side. Align, shift your weight, continue to align and center, connect through, push against the earth. And now relax, because now you know how to do that. And now you don't need to create as much tension to, to do that. So let's try it again. Align, connect through, a little push and you lift. Yeah, the side, relax, align, connect, a little push into the earth. And continue lifting through. Yeah, good job. Okay, uh, another session, we will work more on balance. But now come back to center. And now, easy, just allow your feet to be comfortable staying on the earth, your knees can move freely, and just, just bounce, find a nice rhythm that works for you, and totally relax your arms. Check your breathing is nice and deep. In slowly, and out slowly. How many times do you bounce as you breathe in? How many times do you bounce as you breathe out? It should be about the same, right? For now, this is just even, continuous breathing, but it is relaxed and deep and comfortable, right? Okay, so if your arms are already following along for the ride, continue to release tension from your arms. You can let them swing a little bit more. You can connect that movement to your back, to your shoulder blades. Relax your belly. And as you continue this rhythm, see if you can micro adjust your center so that your knees can relax just a bit more while they're doing what they do. It's not constant, is it? It's on and off, on and off. A little moment of tension followed by relaxation. So we need both. Yeah, that's good. You try sideways with me. Just relax. Good. Okay. You can try this gently. I'm just leaning forward a tiny bit just to release my shoulders. And I'm not bouncing as much right now. I'm just kind of moving my arms. I can even hang here. So now I'm working on my back, just relaxing my back. Okay, and if it doesn't feel good or if it feels like I need something different, I can come back up. I can take a breath. I can relax more. Okay. Okay. That's good. It's so easy, right? Super, super easy. But we don't need to be complicated um, at this point, right? Sometimes easier is better. Okay. So come back to center. Feel your feet. Sense your feet connecting with the earth, the floor underneath you. Relax up through your knees. Let the tension go in your legs. Up through your hips, same thing. Adjust your tailbone if you need to. 
through your back, whole spine, all the way up. Let the shoulders resettle. Ah, relax the chest. Good. Better. Take a couple of breaths with me as we finish up. Breathing in uh, and out. Relax your shoulders. Good job. Once again, full breath all the way down to your belly. Breathe out. Yep. Relax your whole body from your head to your toes. And shoulders and hands and ribs. Back, down, to neutral position again. Breathe in once here, very gently. A smile to yourself. You did a really good job. Well done. There you go. I hope that feels better. 